I bet you've got hundreds if not thousands of sunset sky photos on your phone. Even though it happens every day, every sunset somehow still makes a beautiful, breathtaking photo. But where on earth do these colors come from? Let's start with the basics. Sunlight appears as white light because it is made up of all the colors of light. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all blending together. Sunlight travels as waves of energy, with different colors of light having different wavelengths and traveling at different speeds. Red light has long wavelengths, while blue light has short wavelengths. When the light from the sun reaches the atmosphere of Earth, it may encounter gas molecules such as nitrogen and oxygen in the air. Now here's where things get interesting. Light bounces off of these molecules in the atmosphere, scattering in all directions. This process is called Rayleigh scattering and affects what color we perceive light from the sun as. Blue light is scattered in more directions than other colors because of its shorter waves, making it more likely to hit the particles in the atmosphere. That is why the sky appears blue to us. But you may be wondering why the sky isn't violet, if violet light has a shorter wavelength than blue. This is because the spectrum of light emission from the sun is not constant at all wavelengths, and the sun just emits less violet light than blue light. In this solar radiation spectrum, you can see how the amount of energy peaks in the blue wavelengths. Additionally, our eyes just don't perceive violet as well. We have three types of color receptors, known as cones, in the retinas of our eyes. They are called red, green, and blue because they respond most strongly to light at those wavelengths. Hence, our visual system actually constructs the colors we see, as blue cones are most sensitive to blue wavelengths. Now, as the sun sets in our sky and gets closer to the horizon, the light has a longer distance to travel through the atmosphere compared to when the sun is overhead. The blue light starts scattering so much that it does not end up reaching us at all. Instead, the longer wavelengths in the yellow, orange, and red range have more chances to scatter and make it to our eyes. The lower the sun sinks, the more dominant the longer wavelengths will become. This is why the color of sunsets gets deeper as the sun gets closer to the horizon, turning from yellow to orange and finally red. But have you ever noticed that sunsets seem more saturated during the colder months? This is because in winter, the colder air makes it generally less humid, meaning that there is less water vapor in the air to scatter the light and reduce its intensity. Additionally, the air tends to actually also be cleaner in the winter because much of it has been blown from the Arctic where there is less pollution. This allows more pure colors from the sun to reach our eyes, intensifying the saturation of those sunset hues. So the next time you witness a sunset, which will be in less than 24 hours, remember that the colors you see are a result of the combination of sunlight, atmospheric particles, and the position of the sun on the horizon. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!